KMT Chairwoman Hong Shouju returned to Taiwan yesterday in the wake of the 11th annual forum between the KMT and CCP in Beijing. And it was clear that Hong received favorable treatment from China this time. Chinese President Xi Jinping not only agreed to look into the possibility of a peace agreement, but he also hinted at the probability that the KMT would replace Taiwan's official negotiation agency, the Straits Exchange Foundation. DPP lawmakers read the situation as Hong trying to consolidate her position in the party and improve her chances in next year's KMT chairmanship election. Holding national flags and shouting welcoming slogans, nearly 500 Pan Blue Camp supporters turned out at the Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport to greet KMT Chairwoman Hong Xiaoju on her return home. We will support and assist the eight cities and counties used by the Pan Blue Camp. Before the end of this year at least, we will go to China to display their special agricultural products, as well as stage tourism fairs for them and so on. Hong looked full of confidence. The media read this to mean that she felt her China trip had increased her chances in the KMT chairmanship election next October. I can see that Hong Xiaoju is warming up for the KMT chairmanship elections, but I think society will continue to monitor whether overall her trip is a plus or minus for the KMT's future development. DPP lawmakers thought that Hong's meeting with Chinese leader Xi Jinping would not do much to boost the KMT. After all, Xi said he was determined and capable of dealing with Taiwanese independence, even warning that if China failed to deal with the pro-independence issue, the CCP would be overthrown by China's people. Xi appeared to be speaking off the cuff, and there are concerns that this will cause a backlash in Taiwan and create even tenser cross-strait relations. We don't need to think about matters to do with the KMT chairman elections in July or August next year. The issues facing us right now, such as problems relating to the party's assets and party reform, are much more pressing than next year's issues. We should be focused on the challenges facing us at the moment. Currently, the public has many reservations about getting too close to China. The KMT's legislative caucus is not fully convinced of Hong's leadership abilities. KMT insiders are thus conservative on whether Hong's China trip has increased her chances of another term as KMT leader.